Hi, you should totally stick around to the end of this video because I have some super cool announcements and stuff, so, uh, yeah. I'm back! Apologies for being away for so long, I was on vacation. We put some posas on Times Square. Good times. But now I have returned, and just in time for PAX West! Yippee! If you aren't already aware, PAX is a gaming convention held yearly in Boston and Seattle. PAX East and PAX West. This year for PAX West, Steel Wool had an absolutely massive booth, with prizes, props, and even a playable demo of Help One and Two What? I started the day off by waking up way earlier than I'm used to and bolting down to the pancake house to get some delicious non-pancake breakfast. Here I was joined by my pal Liam, who accompanied me for the rest of the day. You'd probably know him from my streams, or as the guy who did the Vanny art for my first ever video. After our delicious meal with Freddy, we hopped onto the bus and booked it for the big city of Seattle, and rather than exploring and enjoying the sights, we made our way immediately to the convention center to stand in a line for two hours. When we first arrived at the building, I immediately ran into no other than the regular Sauce. If you don't know Sauce, he makes the most insane FNAF cosplays, props, animatronics, everything. Most notable of which being this extremely accurate Glamrock Freddy. He was in this cosplay at the time of coming up to me, accompanied by Kellen Goff to perform the voice. Both of them were incredibly sweet, and this photo is absolutely awesome. Sauce came up to me later and said hi, and now I know that he watches my videos. Hello, Mr. Saucington. How art thou? The line for the Steel Wool booth was capped, despite our best efforts to get there as early as possible, so we wandered around for a bit and ended up bumping into Daco and John from FNAF. It was super awesome talking to them, and they were real sweet. Me and Daco shook hands like a business exchange, and I swear I felt my soul leaving my body piece by piece ever since, so I fear I may have made a deal with the devil. We kept adventuring throughout the expo hall and eventually stopped by the aggro crab booth. I got a beanie as well as these adorable plushies. Going Under is one of my favorite games, so it was so much fun being able to talk to people there. The line soon finally uncapped and we got to spend such joyous time standing in line for two hours! Everyone working there was so kind, obviously the main event was playtesting Help One at Two, and let me tell you, it was fucking fantastic. But unfortunately, I can't show you guys any footage. And because I am very respectful, I did not even attempt to sneak in anything of the inside. We had the choice of choosing one out of three games, and as I unfortunately could only make it there for one day, I had to think very carefully about which one to choose. The options were Bonka Bond, the sister location breaker room, and a carousel level featuring Moon. I chose the carousel one as it seemed the most interesting and unique. And let me just say, this was fucking awesome. It played similar to the original game's vent repair sections. The player is tasked with fixing a Freddy's themed carousel, with some of the coolest designs I've seen from FNAF in a while. Freddy's themed carts, balloons, stuffed animals everywhere. Good to know that after all these years, the carnival prophecy has been fulfilled. There were three main puzzles, the first of which you have to replace knobs and turn them to match with the specific line. The next is taking out fuses and replacing them, and the final one is replacing an old circuit board to properly match. For each puzzle you finish, a new part of the carousel starts spinning. Throughout all of this, Moon is hunting you down, and you must use a flashlight and shine it at him to keep him at bay. He can appear on either side, in front, and behind you. It was honestly really terrifying to hear him chuckle behind me from time to time, and watching him spin around me as the carousel started up again was really cool. My friend Liam decided to play the Bonkabon minigame as his poor heart couldn't take any spooks. He described this minigame as being a whack-a-mole type carnival game in which you had to walk bonbons and bonnets. Funtime Freddy would also supposedly appear, and you had to avoid hitting him. On the third stage, three hit plush babies would appear. The third game, from what I've heard, seems to just be the Funtime Freddy breaker room level from Sister Location Night 2. I deliberately chose not to play this one, as I was so ass at the original minigame, and I also just was always kind of very horrified of it. Trust Kellen's flawless voice performances to always invoke intense emotions within me. After leaving the FNAF area, we traveled on over to the other expo hall to hunt for merch, and we found ourselves at the Sanshi booth quite quickly. We got some sick pins, and I purchased the brand new Glamrock Freddy and Chica plushies. I'm so glad Sanshi is finally doing more with this IP after all these years. It's nice to see they're still taking inspiration from the in-game plushies. We spent another good chunk of time exploring. I got some Ina merch, and then it was time to come home. I really wish that I was able to attend more days, but some stuff came up. I'm extremely grateful to everyone who said hello, regardless of whether or not they recognized me. I'm really hoping Steel Will plans more events like this in the future, because it was so much fun getting to meet so many new people with interests so similar. 
and getting photos was super cool. Hopefully I'll actually be able to attend the full event if something like this happens in the future. I'm so excited for all of you to see Help Wanted 2, and it looks like we may be receiving the game around December, not too far after the release of the movie. 2023 truly has been an amazing year for FNAF fans, and there's even more going on over in Cali, with behind-the-scenes FNAF props straight from the movie. Okay, hello, this is me post-editing. I had originally recorded an outro for this that was completely unscripted, and this is unscripted as well, but the original one was so bad, I'm not even kidding, it was longer than the rest of the video. It was like, seven minutes long. Um, so I'm just gonna say all the things that I said in that outro, but in an actual, like, a way that doesn't take a million years. Um, first off, yes, this video is incredibly short and lazy, and I did not put a single droplet of effort into it. That is because I kind of just wanted to post something that kind of made people aware that I am still here. I know that two weeks isn't a really long time to be gone, but it, it feels like it's been a, a long time for me. I kind of just wanted to, to like, pop in and you know, just say hello. I do have some videos planned. I know that um, I mentioned making a bootleg video. I do have the audio for that. I still have a bunch of video ideas and hopefully from now on I can start getting back to a semi-regular schedule when it comes to posting. So uh, we're gonna be doing a stream in like a week or two. I'm not actually sure the exact date, but it's gonna be the first ever stream um, since being partnered with Mob Entertainment for the Partners in Crime program. We're going to be playing Project Playtime with some cool people that I know a few of you watch because I check the analytics. So that'll be fun. Um, I saw a few people say in the comments of my merch video that they wouldn't have known about Hex if it weren't for me. So I feel like it's my duty to be the bringer of news here. If you didn't already know, the puppet plush is out, and Daco gave a bunch of more, like, hex updates. So if any of these little guys look interesting to you, I think that you should definitely save up your money because they look pretty interesting to me. I'm not- I'm not just saying that. I- I-, I seriously, I love these plushies a lot. I think the final announcement, and probably the most, like, actual important one, is that I have a Patreon. I've had it for a bit now, but it hasn't really been public until, well, now. The stuff that you get on there is all written there, and I'm not gonna go into every single thing because I don't want this video to take, uh, I don't want it to be, like, ten minutes long because, because I, I feel like that would be, like, a lie because half of it is just me talking. But yeah, it's standard Patreon stuff, so we have a Discord server, we have a Minecraft server, uh, early access videos, work in progresses, random shit, uh, like, like, little doodles, you can request doodles, all, all of that good stuff. I'm pretty sure that is all that I had to say. I'm so sorry that this video has been extremely unorganized and, like, not, like, my usual stuff at all. I, I apologize for that greatly. I also apologize that my mic is probably gonna be ass because I'm recording on a different advice- the, a different device for this 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 last part so yeah hopefully this it, it, this video wasn't the worst thing that could have possibly happened to the world even if it was still pretty bad yeah thank you so much for watching i've been quinnamon and so bad i'm evil and my name's jester <laughs> bye bye